Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am because we've just got some brand new official news from the Fortnite development team about a brand new LTM and some more interesting stuff coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon. Make sure that you guys stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does have very important information and also enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite videos just like this one right here. And also in the description below, there's actually a link to a giveaway click on that and it'll give you all of the details that you need uh, but anyway guys around about 10 minutes ago Fortnite development team actually went and did a huge little post a huge little post that makes no sense they did a huge post on their website that basically gives us the state of development throughout version 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale and uh, there's a lot of brand new information here I'm going to be going over it today. So the first thing that you're probably going to see is on screen right now. And as you can see, I'm actually highlighting where it says here, controller. And uh, we're only going to skim past all of this kind of stuff because we're going to get to the limited time modes and items bit in just a second, which are very, very interesting. Uh, but first off, it looks like there's brand new controller options for Builder Pro and also turbo building improvements on the controllers for your Xbox, PlayStation 4, and whether you use a controller for PC too. It looks like uh, basically building is going to be point, point, 0 point, point 5, 0 0.05 seconds quicker each time you build a, p a piece of a uh, building after the first one was already built. I'm hoping that you guys understand that right there. But uh, yeah, this will actually make a huge difference to Fortnite for building on controllers. So yeah, that's uh, really, really cool. Also, it says here that custom bindings are going to be coming to the game too, which is really interesting. Um, I thought that these already had, like, this was already a thing, but apparently not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. It looks like they're going to be giving more options for custom binding in the future. So that's really, really cool. Uh, but also, we're just going to skip hot across from all of this, guys, and we're going to get to limited time modes and LTMs, because this is the real interesting stuff. So I'm going to read it word for word here, and it says here, We've been using LTMs to take existing aspects of the game and try new things with them, i.e. legendary loot in solid gold or faster games in Blitz. We've heard you about your love for 50v50 and we're currently evaluating keeping a larger squad mode live at all times for those who enjoy that type of battling more. So there you go guys, it looks like 50v50 is actually most likely going to be staying in Fortnite Battle Royale consistently forever pretty much like every time you look at the playlist there will always be a 50v50 game mode that is what they're saying and they're still evaluating it but it looks like it's going to be happening guys which is very very interesting indeed and uh, moving on it also says here solo showdown we took our first step into what a competitive playlist may look like with solo showdown Com creating a space for players who wanted to compete towards a prize while exploring how competitive play might look in Fortnite. So it looks like, you know, they've uh, kind of evaluated now how awesome this game mode was and uh, the fact that a lot of people actually participated in it too. Like a lot of people really participated in it. So it looks like this is going to be the first steps towards competitive mode in Fortnite Battle Royale, making it so that really, really awesome players such as Ninja can compete with other awesome people, whereas poopy players like myself can compete with equally as good people like myself. So uh, yeah, very interesting indeed. We've also got here Jetpack. We introduced the Jetpack this week as our limited time item. Our goal is to introduce items that change gameplay in big and unique ways. We're going to keep a close eye on your feedback and data we collect. We'll also see the Jetpack featured in our Close Encounter LTM going live tomorrow, guys. That is right. The new LTM Close Encounters where it will be only shotguns and jetpacks is going to be in Fortnite Battle Royale tomorrow. That is very exciting. And honestly, I feel like with this update coming out tomorrow maybe the map's gonna change a little bit too so that would be really really interesting if they did that also uh, so yeah very excited about tomorrow I cannot wait uh, moving on it all says here uh, playground LTM version 1 the playground LTM will load you into battle royale map with some adjusted settings battle and build to your heart content with an extended period of time to roam around the map as well as increased resource generation all treasure chests and ammo crates will be spawned Try drop it in different spots and scope out the loot. Friendly fire is also on so you can scrimmage with your squad. Up to four friends per match. 
but fear not, you'll respawn immediately. Oh, and loads of llamas. Guys, this is crazy. The fact that they're doing this now is absolutely insane. Now, unfortunately, we didn't actually get a release time on this. I, I That's very unfortunate, but I would assume that it's coming out tomorrow, just like the Jetpack game mode. Uh, but you know, that could change. It may not actually come out tomorrow. They may still be testing it out, but first off, we're going to have increased law, uh, uh, loot spawn, so every part of the map where loot can spawn, it will be there. Also, the minute that you chop down a tree, around about 15 seconds later, that tree will pop back up, and you will be able to keep on getting resources and resources forever. And also, like it says, friendly fire comes back so that you can actually kill your teammates, but you can also respawn on the map. That blows my mind right there. I really, really find that awesome. So yeah, I definitely cannot wait for that game mode because it is definitely going to be one of the best game modes ever in Fortnite Battle Royale. I can taste it right now, guys. Now, a little additional information at the end of this. It says here, note, stats and changes will not be tracked in this mode. And it also says, this represents our initial step into what a creative mode looks like in Fortnite. Practice, strategize, and enjoy yourself. We can't wait to see what you do. So, uh, there you can pretty much go, guys. It looks like we are going to be getting a playground mode or creative mode sometime in the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. So, this is very interesting and... Wow, I just cannot believe that this is actually happening. Um, other than that, there is a little bit of information here about performance in the actual game itself. I am going to skip over that because I'm not really too sure about what mo like much of it is or anything. But there is some big huge stuff here that I want to go over. And it says here, challenge progress notifications. Starting in version 4.3, there will be in-match pop-ups to highlight your challenge progress, track what you've completed and plan out your strategy for the remainder of the match or your next one. So basically, have you ever had the time when you kind of think, wait, did I just visit three taco shops or two? Oh, damn, I can't even check because my stats are not showing or my challenges aren't showing. Well, it looks like now they will actually show in-game so that you can actually check them out. So that's really, really cool. Um, other than that here, it says stuff about world markers, which I'm not really that bothered about, to be honest. Uh, the Victory Royale stream uh, will be getting a more... Let's see, it says here, getting a victory royale should be a more memorable experience, and victory screen should support that. We want to freshen up the celebration and make it a bit more rewarding. So, it looks like we're going to get something kind of similar to what a lot of people have wanted for a long time, though. So, I'm really, really happy about that, and I cannot wait for that. And then also here, they're going to make the resolution of the minimap a lot better, so that's pretty cool. And uh, one of the biggest changes right here is that our 4.2 update had some footsteps audio improvements and we're sli um, where we slightly added more variation to above and below sounds. We recognize it's still difficult to identify enemy position in high density locations such as tilted towers and we'll continue to iterate on this. So basically it, what they're saying here is that they know that people have difficulty hearing people who are either above them or below them. Sometimes people can't tell and they're trying their best to kind of make this a little bit better. And uh, also it says here, spectator, spectator UI improvements. The spectator UI is missing a lot of information that's on the player hood. Examples of things we'd like to add is item inventory, ammo, crosshairs, building edits, compass and markers. Uh, cosmetics, all outfits and cosmetics have value. We want to add ways for you guys to gain additional goodies through collection over time. This is a work in progress. Oh my god, wait, does that mean that every... What? Oh my god, right, okay, I'm li I'm reading this for the, for the first time in my life, but basically what this means is that, you know the way you can have the Omega, and then over time when you're leveling it up, you basically get like more pieces to put onto that uh, character? That what, that's what they're gonna do with all items. Oh my god, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. That's crazy. Oh my god. That is really, really cool. Okay, okay, so I'm really hyped about that. And uh, yeah, comment down below, guys, what your favorite part about this whole uh, development kind of process is. I mean, oh my, there's too much to be excited about right now. Um, and also, they have got a little bit of stuff ready here for E3 and everything. I'm not going to go into that because I've pretty much went over all of the best stuff so far. But guys, all of this is amazing. I'm probably going to have individual videos about all of this stuff in the next couple of days. Just in case people forget or kind of don't see this information in this whole video. So uh, yeah, tell me in the comment section below what your favorite thing is about the road development map for version 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale. I would love to know. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord.
哦，所以啊。